If you've been watching since the start of this series, you have covered a lot of ground and hopefully have learned a lot of new useful information. We've talked about everything that forms a foundation for dental photography. And now it is time to start taking some photographs. Grab your camera and let's get started. Hello and welcome to another video from The Comprehensive Dentist. My name is Dr. B and in this video we will learn how to take extra oral photographs of our patients. I will go into some depth on each shot and show you how I position the patient and myself for these images. We will go through all the extra oral photos that I take as part of my full series of patient photographs. I hope you can watch this video and get a good idea of executing these photographs yourself. As I've said in previous videos, this is my technique for taking patient photos. And there are many ways to do this. I have studied dental photography for many years now and I have seen just about every possible way to take photographs. In this video, you see my technique and it may work for you or you may decide that you want to do it differently. That's entirely up to you. My technique requires me, a patient, and one assistant. My assistant is most necessary for the intraoral images involving mirrors and everything else I do is on my own. All of the extra oral photos that you see today can be taken without an assistant, although you will notice that I use my assistant to hold up a background during the full face photographs. I will also say that the technique I currently use to take photographs minimizes any stress on myself meaning I try to position myself comfortably so I can have good posture and reduce bending or positioning myself in a way that could cause musculoskeletal issues over time from taking photos regularly. Last, I will also mention that the order in which I shoot these images is on purpose. I start with photos of the patient standing, then transition to them sitting, and finally lying back in the chair. So without further ado, Let's look at the extra oral images. For full face shots, I have my patient in front of a neutral background. The background could be white, black, or neutral color. I take most of my photographs in the operatory where I do my exam. So I typically have the patient stand against the wall. Position the patient to minimize shadows on the background. This will likely require that they not be too close to the wall. Take a photo and adjust their position as necessary. I position myself directly in front of the patient and try to have my camera pointing straight at their face. If the patient is taller or shorter, you should try to figure out a way to make their face even with yours. This may require you to squat down a little, have the patient sit in a chair, or you may need a step stool to make yourself taller. Figure out what works best for you and your patient. These extra oral full face shots can be taken in a vertical or horizontal orientation. For the longest time, I took my full face photos vertically, but recently switched to a horizontal orientation so that all of my dental photos were uniform. This is up to you, and regardless of orientation, I try to position or compose the picture so that it shows from the patient's clavicles to a little above the top of their head. Their nose is in the center of the image. I will try to make their interpupillary line be level with the horizon, but it can be adjusted during editing if this is not perfect. Since this is a repose shot, their lips are slightly apart and relaxed. I will focus on the patient's eyes. Using the same orientation as the full face repose, the only difference between this smiling image and the repose image is the smile. Everything else is the same. Smiles can vary among patients. I always try to capture a natural smile, but documenting an exaggerated or big smile is good as well. For this image, have the patient turn to their left, your right. I have seen this image taken the opposite way, but I prefer the patient to face their left in the profile photo. We want to capture clavicles up to the top of the head and the ear becomes the center of the image. 
The patient will look straight ahead with the head as parallel to Frankfurt horizontal as possible. Frankfurt horizontal is an imaginary line that runs from the tragus of the ear to the bony infraorbital rim area. Again, the patient's lips are in repose, being slightly apart and relaxed. I will typically focus on the corner of the eye. You can shoot this image with the patient standing or sitting. I typically shoot this while the patient is standing. Again, the patient is positioned directly in front of me. The most important parts of this photo are the eyes and the teeth. The patient will likely need some help if they have never used retractors before. Here we are using metal retractors and the big side goes in the mouth and the small side is the part the patient holds. The mouth is retracted and the teeth are slightly apart. I try to orient this photo so the interpupillary line is parallel to the horizon and I will focus on the eye. Now we're going to move to the extra oral up close shots. For these, I will have the patient sit directly in front of me. I find it easy to have the patient sit on the edge of the dental chair and sit knee to knee with me while I sit in a chair directly in front of the patient. I make sure that our faces are at the same level so that my images are taken straight towards the patient and not angled up or down. If you remember back to the recommended camera settings up until now, for the extra oral full face images, we have been using an f-stop of f11. For these extra oral up close shots and for intra oral shots, we will switch our f-stop to f25. In this image, the patient's lips are in repose, being apart and relaxed. The philtrum is the vertical center of this photo. If you want to shoot this image using a magnification ratio, try using a one to two ratio. This photo will be very similar to the up close repose, except for now the patient is smiling. The incisal plane or occlusal plane is usually parallel to the photo frame's upper and lower edges. Again, the filtrum is the vertical center of the photo. Since the patient is smiling, we now have some depth in the image from the front of the mouth to the back of the mouth. To ensure that all the teeth are in focus, we will focus on the canine so a little in front of the canine is in focus and behind the canine is in focus. If using F25, you notice that some of the teeth are not in focus. This may require you to increase the f-stop to a higher number. These are two images where the patient turns 45 degrees left and right while smiling. When the patient turns, they should turn just enough so the lateral incisor on each side is pointed directly at the camera. Just like the up-close smile, the patient is smiling for both of these images. Continuing with our smiling photos, we will have the patient look straight towards you and point their head down or place their chin down. This shot aims to capture how the maxillary incisal edges are positioned in relation to the wet dry line of the lower lip when the patient is smiling. The last extra oral image I take is a smiling profile shot. For this, I orient the patient the same way I do for a full face profile image. The patient will face to their left or my right. I will capture the anterior posterior relationship of the maxillary incisal edges to the lower lip with the patient smiling. All right, so that wraps up how I take extra oral dental photos. These are probably the most straightforward photos to take. In the next video, we will dive into intraoral photographs and you will see that as we introduce mirrors, some of these shots become more challenging to take. But don't worry, follow my technique and practice, 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 and you will be an expert in no time. If you found this video useful, please hit that like button and leave some comments down below. I wanna thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video where we discuss intraoral photos.